Ginger and Time. Welcome to a new vlog, a new episode of our Ginger and Time vlog. So today I want to tell you about my current um, works in progress or my whoops and what are my plans this last month of the year. Uh, because yeah, it's almost uh, December and that's the last month of the year. And I want to talk about my plans to cast on some things, maybe finish some things, test bits that are coming up and other exciting things. Um, so in my last episode, um, I showed you some whips that I was doing at the moment. Well, I can tell you already, spoiler alert, I didn't finish any of them. Um, there are still the work in progress, so you will see uh, the update right away. Um, but I have some other exciting things that are not casted on yet, but that I can already uh, plan or have in my queue. Um, because yeah, I have a test net that is coming um, for a Bray Belly, that's her Sunbeam sweater. And she had them on uh, when I was at the fair, you know, you remember, I told you a little bit more about it in my previous episode. And she, she was wearing it and I already thought that that's a really nice sweater. So when the test call was coming up this week, I thought, yeah, I have to participate in this test. And I've been selected, so I'm really excited. And I just dyed a little bit of uh, Ginger and Thyme's um, hand tied wool for, especially for the Sunbeam test net. So um, I'm only using some um, uh, merino sock yarn, so merino with a little bit of nylon in it, and also a silk mohair. We don't have them currently in our web shop, but I will see how it turns out uh, because it's a expensive yarn and would be a really expensive uh, hand dyed yarn or hand dyed um, silk mohair. So I am in doubt, but um, I was thinking let's dye it for myself, see what's, how it feels, how it um, turns out in a, in a sweater, uh, for example, and we will see then. Uh, for the colors and stuff, they're still wet, so I can show you nothing at the moment. But if they're dried and they picked up and I make my own swatch for the test knits, you will see um, on my Instagram for sure. And you can follow along on Ripley and, uh, as well. Um, so I'm really excited for the Sunbeam sweater of Bray Belly. Uh, that's a test knit currently. I think um, early next year it will be released. I think it's going to be February or March, something like that. So I'm excited to cast on this one. But I didn't do anything for that. <laughs> I, I dyed my yarn. So that's already a, a great, a great start of the test knit set. Another plan uh, for December is casting on my Christmas socks, my self striping Christmas socks. I mean, um, I don't know yet if this little cakey is gonna be for me, so some socks for myself or for Walter, but I'm already. I think I'm on sheen because I already caked my self striking yarn. So I think, um, yeah, I really got to cast on some Christmas socks, but I don't know yet if it's for Walter or for me because Walter is really like, oh, I want to have some hand knitted socks and that Christmas for Christmas and stuff like that. So maybe it's gonna be a little present, but he's, he's gonna already know. So because I'm always knitting in the sofa. And he's always next to me, not really tight um, or really close. Um, but uh, yeah, he's always interested in what I'm knitting and stuff like that. So I can really keep that as a secret. And he already knows I have yarn for a self-striping Christmassy sock. So yeah, we will see how that turn out. But I hope in the next episode, I can show you already my cast on and maybe have one sock ready. I don't know because there are other sock projects that are in my whips and I just have to free some needles. I have spare needles but in my mind it's something like first you have to finish socks and then you can cast on new socks even if they are Christmas socks. So maybe I will discuss this in myself with myself and I can um, all, I can uh, cast on there anyway. 
So my Christmassy um, socks, self-striping yarn, you have always a red stripe, a white stripe, a, a white stripe, green stripe, and so the white is um, is between every stripe. So that's that's cool. They, I, I saw the example and I was, uh, yeah, I really need to have these socks. So I will cast on them soon. So my um, that was my second plan for December and my third plan for December is write a pattern down. Maybe you saw it in my previous video um, that I was working on a really nice royal blue sweater. He, um, it was a uh, bottom up and it has a, a sport cord. I can tell you the cord is separated from the uh, sweater and the sweater was um, again a ball of yarn. But not anymore because <laughs> I did a third attempt on knitting a sweater with this yarn and it has the same vibe uh, but it's gonna be different. It's not gonna be a sporty looking sweater anymore. It's gonna be like a really oversized or pretty oversized sweater with real um, uh, straight, I think straight or slightly narrowing down sleeves. I'm not sure about that. But I, I want to have um, enough space for the, um, for the uh, sleeves. So it's going to be, yeah, they, they're going to be white. And I want to have um, a high turtleneck, a really high turtleneck that can pull over and it, that it has um, enough space for your neck to fold it over and stuff like that. So I was changing my mind. I, I just, I, I um, filmed the, the previous vlog. And then uh, the sweater was laying here um, open and I was thinking the evening that I filmed like I'm, I'm gonna frog it. I'm gonna frog it because I don't like working on it and if I don't like working on it why would somebody work on a, um, a sweater pattern or a sweater that is not fun to make? It just wasn't progressing and progressing, progressing in enough. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it okay, but you know what I mean. It wasn't enough. Yeah, it wasn't knitting fast enough. Uh, it was a very, very, very slow knitting. And even I love, I adore a ripped sweater. It was just a twisted rib. It was too much it was all over the place and yeah that was just a design choice that I made it was great in my mind <laughs> and it was great on the sweater um, but also I thought no it's not fun to make the sweater so we're gonna rip it out and I did and it was painful because it was already my second attempt and I was pretty high already I was like I didn't have um, split for the, the sleeves yet, but it's it, it it it's going to happen, you know. Like, and if you're over that, you can just knit on. But I thought, no, it's gonna take me too long. I'm not having fun with this one. I'm gonna rip it out. This this is just something. Yeah, as a designer, knitwear designer, I'm saying this because I don't really feel like a knitwear designer, but I design knitwear. So yeah, I'm actually a knitwear designer for children's time. I'm I'm seeing it still as a hobby, and I think it has to be fun for me. It has to be fun for my test knitters. It has to be fun for anyone who wants to knit the sweater. So if I'm not liking it enough, yeah, then it just um yeah then we just stop knitting it and just continue or are going forward with another design and i'm happy i did because the design i'm working on now is going so much faster so yeah i don't know if this sample is gonna uh going to be my um my pattern sample as you know what i mean um, I mean, if you're in, in, in a designing process, most of the time you have some uh, various swatches, you have some various samples. And I would say most of the time I just rip uh, back pieces of the uh, design I don't like. 
so I don't really have multiple samples at the end. I just have multiple <laughs> attempts of uh, little elements in the sweater, but on and the end, most of the time, I have just one sample that I'm that is going to be the pattern sample. Um, but I know there are plenty of designers that are making uh, a lot of samples for one sweater and just improve every sample. And I think that's great, but I just don't have the time to do that um, one sample or just uh, various samples for one pattern, that's what I mean. Um, I just don't have the time and I'm, I just don't like knitting um, a pattern like in various ways. Even if you slightly change, um, make changes on the pattern. Yeah, it's not, it's, it's just not me, you know? So I'm, I'm doing it in an other way. Uh, I'm just making like little samples in my final sample, you know? Like uh, width of the arms or the shoulders or um, length of the body. Most of the time uh, with my billet top, for example. That's a, a pattern I released a few months ago. It was in the summer, just a little after the summer, I think. Um, I did a, a short sleeve, I did a long sleeve, I did a cropped, I did a long. So actually I had four patterns, but I just made a pattern first for the short sleeve and then I just ripped the uh, border or the hem of the sleeve. I ripped it out and I just knitted a long sleeve, you know. That's what I'm doing. I ended up with one sample that had a long sleeve and a long, um, the long version, this long uh, body version. And I just liked it that way. And I don't think you always have to have, as a designer, various samples of one piece. So I want to show you already my sample I made. And I already made some changes along the way. Um, but I'm, I think I'm there, almost there. I just, um, a little bit concerned or I'm just wondering if it's going to be wide enough because I wanted the oversized look. Um, uh, but maybe it will just be, um, not really oversized, oversized, but just a wide fit. And I thought maybe that's good also. We will see. We will see how it's going to turn out, but actually... I totally changed the design elements of the previous sample I made. I made now a top down sweater and I made it um, with a dropped shoulder that you form with increases on the back, the back shoulder actually. Um, so we have like this, um, this form right now. So we have already a little bit on the um, on the uh, front, and I think I have, I've already increased here. I think it's gonna be too snug. I want to have um, a very big uh, turtleneck collar that you can fold over, uh, double or triple, um, and I think the the neck opening or the neck yeah neck shape is gonna be too snug or too tight for that oversized turtleneck uh, collar. So maybe I will rip it uh, back, but you know, I will do it in this sample, not in the next sample, if you know what I mean. So, um, because I think the, the shoulder, she ugh, because I think the shoulder seam will, um, will be right um, where my shoulder begins in the back, and I think that this is more the shape you have if, if, if it is on your shoulder, if the seams on your shoulder. So I don't know. I will, I will take a look if I have all my increases done on one side and I think it's just too snug. That's something I don't want in this design. So I will rip it back and start over again. But it's just a learning process. It's, it's something I didn't, I didn't do that before. So I'm... Um, yeah, I will see. I will see. I just continue knitting. Uh, I think that's a good idea. And then we will see if it's too snug. You see, like it, it has to be like a little bit more rounded. And I don't know. Maybe it's 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 fine. I don't know. It's a little bit snug. I think. 
Yeah, we will see. So I chose Eve, um, the same ribbing stitches as my billy top. So just a two by two rib. I think that's just gonna, if you're knitting, you're gonna be more in the flow and it's just going um, to knit up faster. And that's something that I really want for this design because I, it's already my third attempt. And I don't know, it's, I'm still in doubt about the sweater, not about the color, not about the yarn, but yeah, my design choice choices aren't that always that um, that great. So we will see. But that's something that I want to uh, finish up in December. And I always uh, I also want to write the pattern so the um, testnet can open in um, January, so next year, beginning of next year. So yeah, we will continue knitting and maybe I'll post some uh, progress photos on Instagram or maybe I do a next vlog we will see how much time there is and you already can see uh, some progress of that I'm just very curious about how the sleeves and the turtleneck are going to look like because of that um, yeah how I designed the, the, the sweater I'm just curious how it, how it will work out what I have in mind and what will be uh, the sweater in real life so that's it for my plans in December. So um, I'm gonna start a test knit for the Sunbeam sweater of Bray Valley and hand tied yarn of Ginger and Time. Then I'm gonna continue um, knitting up some socks and start a test knit on one of them, but more of that on my webs. And I'm also uh, planning to end the knitting the sweater that uh, doesn't have a name. So if you have any name suggestions of that for that sweater, you can always pop up down below. I already showed you in a previous video, so I don't need to show you that again, but I can show you definitely my uh, progress on my second sock. I don't have a second sock um, syndrome, no, no, no. I'm, I'm a good girl and just continue knitting the second sock. And that is my second sock. So I have already two basic colors, uh, stripes and one um, finished repeat of the contrasting color. And I am now missing my seed stitch contrasting color stripe. So after that, I need to go ahead and make the heel. So actually I'm almost half, half, halfway there. I'm almost halfway there. I really enjoy knitting this sock um, and a plus, I'm, yeah, I'm a Belgian girl. So here, if we um, learn how to knit, we learn it on, most of the time, straight needles. I did uh, when I was little. It, it's been a long time. I don't know if it's um, day to day still that way. I don't know. But most of the time, uh, people that are learning to knit, find a way um, to circle needles very, uh, very soon or very easy. Uh, but when I was uh, a girl that was learning to knit, I was learning to knit on straight needles and I was a trower. I'm, I'm still I'm a trower. It's, it's yeah, hard to um, get rid of the, uh, the technique you're used to and just continue knitting with another technique. So what I'm doing now is now and then, an easy sock pattern, an easy sock design. It's really an easy one. Um, uh, I'm, I'm forced myself to knit them continental uh, because I really think I have to knit more and more continental and get rid of get rid of the throwing magic. Um, it's because I'm especially with ribbing and the seat seat stitch and this seat stitch here is that you um, you just keep getting your uh, yarn on the back, on the front, and that's just an extra movement that you always have to do with your, yeah, actually with whole your hand, you just, your wrist and your, the whole, your, your whole hand is working double. And I was, I was looking when I was doing that and I was thinking, oh my God, I'm, I'm putting so much effort and so much work in it. And it's just to keep track of my, tra oh, keep track, keep my thread in the right position. So I was thinking, with continental knitting, you just don't have it. You just, yeah, you purling and then you can just flip 
your thread um, after you need, after you work or uh, in front of your work. So yeah, I was thinking, what am I doing? Oh Lord. So now I'm first myself, if I have a sock project or a hat project where there's less um, other techniques involved, I just want to practice my continental uh, knitting. And I must say, um, the, the most part um, that I was yeah, afraid of, or was nervous about, is my tension. I really didn't, now, even now, I didn't get it perfectly I think but I'm I'm just grabbing my yarn in a way that I don't like the tension so much so I like a lot of tension on my thread on my yarn and I just I have the feeling when I do continental knitting that my tension is a little bit off so I'll keep practic practicing most of the time the tension because the technique I'm, is just the technique you know um, I don't need to practice that more but I have a feeling that my tension is getting better and better. So maybe I'll, I have found um, a good technique for now. So I'm almost on the heel, so I'm almost halfway. And then I just have to do a heel. Um, I will do a wrap and turn heel. And also the uh, foot and the toe. So that's, that's an easy one. I think two evenings for that one has to be finished. But that's a little bit my car knitting project. So I'm only working on this one in the car. And we're, yeah, we're, we're often, not really often, but we're now and then on the car um, and we're riding here in the neighborhood. And then I'll, I'll take this one with me and I have the Knit and Note app to keep track of my rows. And that's, that's just easy peasy. So I have another whip and I already showed you in the previous uh, episode of my vlog. And I have, I have a really good news and also a little bit less good news <laughs> because sock one is done. It's my uh, moon sock. Um, I think it's going to be the Chloe socks, but I'm not totally sure of the name yet. So if you have name suggestions for this one, you can totally pop them up uh, here below. But I was, um, when I was knitting my other one, because maybe you will... You want to see that. Um, that's my other sock. That's the, um, I think that's the right, the right one. Yes, that's the right one. So the moon is on the um, ankle, ankle uh, outside of the leg. Um, so yeah, uh, the pattern has to be, uh, you have two different um, sheens for the color pattern for the left leg and for the right leg or the right sock and the left sock, of course. And I I was thinking, um, hey, where's my other, my finished sock? It's not longer on this place. It was in the washing machine. So I was a little sad because you can tell, not that the color colors are faded or something, it's not that, but it's the black wool has um, a little like um, like overflew the whole sock or something like that. I don't know. You can tell it in the camera, I think. Um, I will show you, but I don't know if you can tell it. You can see that it's not that the colors are faded. It's not like that. They're Maybe they're less blended. I would never ever do a hand tied sock yarn in the washing machine. It's really by accident. It happened really by accident. But now I have the feeling that the black um, yarn, that's also a, a sock yarn, had just made a, like a film over over the, the, the complete sock and over the, the pink and the, and the um, purple and the green yarn speckles. Um, I don't like it. I'm, I'm really sad about that. I thought, oh my God, uh, I can see, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but you can totally, totally see a difference between the two socks. I don't know if the camera hits it so good, but maybe the moon, I can show you. That's the great one, because that sock hasn't been in the washing machine, and this one has been sitting in the washing machine. I think you can, 
you can tell it a little bit, you know. Um, yeah, I'm a little bit sad. And I was thinking, should I re -knit it maybe for the pictures and stuff like that? Because it's going to be a pattern. And um, I think I will do that. But in if I have holidays, you know, if I have a lot of knitting time, I think I will knit a third sock. Oh, that's so pity. He's not alone, this one. Because he's not ugly or something like that. But maybe I should do with like such, uh, you have machines that uh, do your little um, uh, fluffies away. Maybe that is a good idea. Let me know if you have other thoughts to just get the fluff, the black fluff off my sock. Because that's really the point. Um, but hey, I'm, I'm, I'm doing very well with this sock. It's an exciting sock also. You just get to uh, get to follow the, um, the color pattern and color sheen. And yeah, that's exciting to see your sock grow and see the moon appear and see the stars appear. That is, that's, that is exciting. That is a really exciting knit. And I think for the holidays, it will be perfect. So I hope to write the pattern down soon. And I think beginning of December, if we're still open, I can send a test knit. So if you like to be notified uh, for the test knit, send me a DM or leave a comment uh, below that I can um, add you to the testers list. So my heel is already done. So maybe you can see it, but my heel is in, is in the sock. He, he is already done. He's worked up. So I'm excited to finish this sock. I think that's it for today.